You're watching The Auction Network. I'm Oi Christopher in Hollywood, California, where stars fall from the sky and legends live forever. In this star-studded auction, we'll discover why some of Tinseltown's biggest divas still command an audience. You're not going to believe what this cocktail dress worn by Marilyn Monroe went for. This is the uh, Marilyn Monroe Norma Jean uh, Doherty first contract from 20th Century Fox. Dated August 24th, 1946. She would have been 20 years old. 12,000, 13,000, 14,000. Today they were auctioning off um, a check signed by Lucille Ball for her utility bill, and it went. I mean, people want that. They, that, they want to remember her. Joan Crawford collection of love letters handwritten to a bow when she was a teenager, 1923. Golden Age stars still command an audience today and always will. Glitz, glamour, and intrigue. It's all next with Bonhams and Butterfield's entertainment memorabilia auction. Hi, I'm Hoyt Christopher. Today's auction spotlights the golden age of Hollywood. The Marilyn Monroe cocktail dress, the Lucille Ball signed check, Joan Crawford collection of love letters, 1300, 1400. Sold to your bidder. I think entertainment memorabilia is so important and valuable to the public because we have an emotional connection to the characters and stories that actually relate to different points in our lives. Because it's history of the past, you're not going to see it repeat itself. People collect memorabilia because um, it is part of the past, part of a great industry, and maybe, just maybe, um, some of that fame and fortune will rub off onto them. Everyone is looking for a decent investment that ultimately will yield some profit. Movie memorabilia has fallen into that realm as its own art form. You may see lots of stars on Hollywood Boulevard, but if you want to own a piece of Hollywood history, then head to Bonhams and Butterfields. Bonhams and Butterfields is the third largest auction house in the world uh, between after Christie's and Sotheby's. This auction is called Entertainment Memorabilia, and that means Hollywood memorabilia, rock and roll memorabilia, pieces related to animated films. Essentially, we have entertainment memorabilia, we have Hollywood posters, and then we have animation and illustration art. And the collectors are slightly different in each of the categories, so we you know, put together a 600 lot um, sale in a day, which is quite a lot to go through. 15,000. Still going. 16 with me. 17,000. Bonhams and Butterfields has been selling entertainment memorabilia for almost 20 years now. And it makes sense because we're right here in Hollywood. And many of the people who work in the entertainment industry who have property like this live here and work here and are interested in buying items like this, like posters, like animation cells, like memorabilia related to movie stars. So it makes perfect sense. Autographs are a must have for any entertainment memorabilia collector. People want to collect autographs, and they are, are valuable because they are a piece of history of the artist himself or herself. People collect autographs because, I don't know, Hollywood is the new royalty. When I first came out here, I got Warren Beatty and Dean Martin in Las Vegas. I actually have about five or six Marilyn autographs, and it's just a great way to have an item that that person actually touched, wrote on, and they're actually signing their own name. So, I mean, autographs are huge, huge business. I think it's, an, again, a very personal item, but also something that people can really feel connected to. Uh, autographs, it's something the person actually wrote himself or herself. It's something you can hold in your hand that they really touched. This is, this is kind of cool because there's not too many of those around, so. Autograph picture from Jean Harlow. The Jean Harlow one, I would think, for somewhere between $1,000 and $2,000, because it is that rare. And we'll open the bidding here. Uh, shall we say uh, $500? $500 starts us off. $500 the bid. Go $50. $500 starting as absentee. Anyone at $550. If not selling at five, now it goes at $500. It's a picture of Betty Davis, uh, sign signed by Betty originally and uh, was signed back in, in the 1930s. Both of these uh, have been around and in our position for that long. 
Betty Davis for a little bit less because she had a longer career in Hollywood and there are a lot of autographs. I think if I saw one, there's another Betty Davis picture uh, up there for so probably several hundred dollars for that, we hope. At 192 here, two of the gentlemen go 25. At 200 we have 25 on this side. 250 if you wish. 250 again, 75, 300, 25. To my left at 325, fair warning. Sold at 325. We have a great collection of Joan Crawford handwritten letters that she wrote to a boyfriend when she was 17 years old. So I never understood kind of the softer, mushier Joan Crawford movies, but I certainly get the hard as nails Joan Crawford, and those films are great. Joan Crawford collection of love letters handwritten to a beau when she was a teenager called Billy Cassin, 1923. I think she absolutely loved being a movie star. She loved being glamorous. And she loved having relationships with men. She had many relationships throughout her lifetime. She was married frequently. And the collection of letters we have is really, it, illus it illustrates the very early young woman who became what we now know as Joan Crawford. 1,000 bid, 11, thank you. 11 the bid there, 1,200. 13, 14, 15. We're at 15 the bid, go 16. Joan Crawford was quite a woman. She started out as a shop girl. She worked in a department store. Was very, very energetic, creative, ambitious to the nth degree. Let nothing stand in her way and worked her way to the top. Go 16, anyone else? If not selling, at only 1,500. Fair warning. Thank you. 3499. Also hitting the block was this unique tablecloth signed by a who's who of Hollywood's golden age. This is really fun. This is a tablecloth, and it was used at Romanoff's, the famous Hollywood restaurant and it's signed by all these different stars from the early 40s. So it was sort of an A-list of uh, or a who's who in the 1940s. And then later someone went over and, and stitched all the names with all this different color thread so the signatures would never fade. And you see people like Orson Welles on here, Rita Hayworth, Stan Laurel, Oliver Hardy. The list goes on and on. And um, we have this estimated at $1,000 to $1,500. 2117, a tablecloth from Romanoff's, signed by uh, celebrities. I see Orson Welles there on the corner. Let's open the bid here at $800. 850 already. 850 the bid. 9, 50, 1,000, 11. 11 the bid, go 12. At 1100. Any advance? Fair warning. Selling at 1100 to your bidder, I would tell. Owning a piece of Hollywood isn't just for the rich and famous. For those of you who think that auctions are for wealthy people, I'm flat broke. Auctions are a little bit like theater and doesn't cost anything to get in and uh, it's fun. It's a nice way of buying what you like. Last chance. Sold for 800. Your number please. As you can see, these collectibles are a must have for any fan of Hollywood's glamorous history. One of the pieces that sold really well was a Marilyn Monroe contract that she signed when she was 20 years old starting work at 20th Century Fox. We'll discover why this document belonging to Marilyn Monroe was the highest bidded item of the day. 5, 250, 75, 325. To register for future live auctions, go to auctionnetwork.com.